What's good, y'all? Welcome to an episode of Buzz Boys. And today, today's the day, you feel me? Hornets, Pelicans, I will be in the building. And just like the best seats I ever had, like it's pretty close to the court, so I'm, I'm really excited. Um, and you know, usually I do my like vlogs, I do my pre-game matchup like while I'm driving. Not necessarily the safest thing, so I'm trying to just go ahead and knock that shit out now. Um, this is a team that we just recently played um, back on March 11th. So, you know, this is a team that you should be familiar with. It's not like a surprise. Um, there will be one difference tonight, CJ McCollum. Um, we did not see him in our last matchup. I think he was injured or something like that. I don't know. But we did not see him in the last matchup, so this will be our first look at him. Um, they're coming off a win last night, but this is a back-to-back -back for them. So, you know, there's that. Devon, excuse me, Devontae Graham is questionable. Brandon Ingram is out. They got a few other guys out. But, um, you know, let me get y'all the injury report. Yeah, so Brandon Ingram is out. Kyra Lewis Jr. is out. Larry Nance is out. And, of course, Zion is out. So, you know, they're without guys. Last night, their starting lineup against Atlanta, which thank y'all for beating Atlanta. I'm glad they beat Atlanta, but now it's time for us to take care of business. Um, their starting lineup was CJ McCollum, Herbert Jones, Najai Marshall, Jackson Hayes, and Jonas Valachunas. So, you know, this should basically be a fucking win. But, you know, we'll see how that shit go. But in my eyes, should definitely be a W. But, um... Yeah, as far as our injury report goes, everybody but Gordon, we kind of know what's going on at this point. Um, this game does have playing implications for both teams. Right now, the Pelicans are ninth in the West and the Lakers are 10th. They're both tied at 30 and 41. It's kind of crazy that you can be a play-in team 11 games under 500, but is what it is <laughs> as far as the West goes. And, yeah, they're both 30 and 41. And uh, the Pelicans have the tiebreaker over the fucking Lakers. So, they're ninth. The Lakers are 10th. So, this is an important game for them. Yeah, just like it's an important game for us. Uh, it's just as tight in the East as it is in the West. It's just the, the, the records are a little higher and lower. But it's tight. So, uh, you know, we all know what this game means to us. Um, we heard Miles – I don't know if you guys heard, but Miles Bridges was talking um, – after the game a few nights ago, or it might have just been, you know, yesterday. But he basically was talking about how they've been close the last three years, how at the end of the season they have been fighting for a chance to make the playoffs and they've been close, but they just couldn't do it. And he said this year he's not he's not having that, bro. Like, he's you know, he's going to will us to, the, to where we want to go. And he gave praise to Isaiah, gave praise to Trez for coming in as vets and helping them. Because they said, he was even talking about how last game, how we kind of went down at halftime. We were losing by one point. He was basically saying, like, um, they were hanging their heads. And the vets was like, bro, like, they went on their run. We're going to go on ours. And then we came out in that third quarter and blew the Mavs out. And he was basically saying, without those vets being in their ear at halftime, they would have lost that game. So, you know, you we can just see things are different. We got some good veterans. We got, you know, we... We should be good, bro. We're on a winning streak right now. Four games, trying to push to five. Um, the East is tight. Um, the Hawks did lose last night. Like I said, thank you, Pelicans. Um, so we do got a little breathing room when it comes to the standings. But still, we got to keep going. We got to keep winning because at the end of the day, I don't want to be ninth. I want to be eighth. That way, you know what I'm saying, we could at least get two games. Like eighth minimum, bro eighth minimum and I mean the Nets have a one game lead on us they play the Jazz tonight that could be an L if we get a win tonight um we will both be 37 and 35 and um well I think they, they might have the tiebreaker on us but you know that's that's a start that's a start so you know all we gotta do is take care of business and keep winning these games that we know that we're capable of winning we got the Knicks coming up after this like you know, this is a chance to get hot and go on a run. It doesn't even matter what 
you know, what teams you're playing. Racking up wins feels good. It's good for morale. It's good for chemistry. It's good for charisma. You feel good. Like, we're on a six-game winning streak. By the time the Jazz come to town, hopefully we're at a six-game winning streak. And, you know, you can, you can go for that seventh win. Like, that's what you need. That's the momentum that you need to be carrying towards the end of the season. So, you know, we all know the implications of how big this game is. Um, I'm, I am working on my playoff seeding video and all that. Like, I'm working on it. I literally was just working on it beforehand. But um, I'm going to have to get on the road soon. So, you know, I kind of had to put that on the back burner. But I'm going to get that video out to you guys. I, I really am. Um, now, really personally, bro, I really do think we can finish eighth, bro. Like, I, I do. I do. The Nets have it, like... It's just like a couple of teams around us, bro. Their schedules. Like, the Nets do have a rough little patch coming up, though. Like, they got to play the Jazz. They got to play the Grizzlies. They got to play the Heat. They got to play us. That could potentially be a four-game losing streak for the Nets. You know, we've seen how streaky they can be. That could be a four-game. You know what I'm saying? The only thing is, you know, they got a Pistons game in there. But then they got to play the Bucks. They got to play the Hawks. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, they can have a couple of games, then they, but then they get games like Houston and, and the Knicks. So, it's just, I don't know. You We don't know where Brooklyn necessarily will finish. And that's what really is taking the video so long because I got to go through everybody above us and below us, you know, schedule, see what they got coming up and just predict wins and losses. Like, I don't know. Shit, it's just taking a little minute. But I don't know, man. You just never know. Like, the Bulls are falling apart. You know what I'm saying? They're 2-8 and eight in their last 10. They're on a three-game losing streak. Um, now, the thing is, they're 41-29, so I don't know necessarily how far they could fall. Um, I just did my little thing. I had them at 43-38. and 38. That's kind of where I had them finishing. Um, I don't know, man. You just We just got to see how shit plays out for these teams, bro. Now, what I have them at 43-39, and 39, I think. 43-39. and 39. Um, I don't know, man. It's just anything can happen, bro. Anything can happen. We could get hot. We could win some good games. I just, I don't, I don't think that we make it up to six. I don't, but I think that we can make it up to seven or eight, bro. But really that eight, like, bro, we're a game back. We can do it. With a loss from the Nets tonight and a win from us tonight, we're already there. And now I got to give props to the Raptors simply because I kind of thought that they were going to fall apart, bro. They had a, a really tough schedule. Um... They had a really tough schedule, and they've sustained that shit, bro. It surprised me. It surprised the fuck out of me, but, like, they, they've sustained it. They beat the 76ers last night. Um, it, it, it surprised me, bro, what what they went through, teams that they beat. Because they had, like, they had Lakers, Clippers, Lakers, 76ers. They got the Bulls. They got the Cavs. Like, they were, they went through, they had, like, a little tough-ass six, seven-game stretch where they should have kind of got chopped up, bro. And they they sustained that shit. Like, they kept winning. So, you know, I got to show credit where it's due. Like, the Raptors are handling their business, bro. And they're looking like they're kind of coming for the Cavs. You know, the Cavs have won a couple. They're still, I believe they're still without Jared Allen. You know, they played the fucking Pistons uh, the other night. They got the Lakers, then they got the Raptors, the Bulls, Magic, Dallas, Atlanta, New York, 76ers. It seems like everybody has New York and the Hawks coming up on their fucking schedule. But yeah, the Cavs don't have a tough schedule. I don't know. I don't know how that shit's going to shake out, but I just hope that we could possibly make it to eighth. Bare minimum ninth, because that'll give us home court advantage when we do play Atlanta. Uh, I just assumed there's going to be a land at that 10 spot. But um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, man. I definitely do expect a win tonight. I am definitely going to do a vlog for you guys. You guys know how I do when I go to the games. Except for the 76ers game. I went to the 76ers game. Um, and I don't know. I think it just took me too long to edit. And we had like a back-to-back. -back. Like we had more games coming up so fast that by the time I edited that long-ass shit, it just it wasn't relevant anymore. And I never posted it. But um, I'm definitely going to get you guys the vlog for tonight just because I have like good seats. So like 
I'm really happy to just see how close I actually get to the court, how close I am to the court. I know I'm going to have a good view. I'm trying to debate if I should bring my iPad or not. I feel like that's OD, so I'm probably not going to bring my fucking iPad. But, yeah, man, like, you feel me? I'm under the basket, row B, so, like, I'm close as fuck. So, I should see some good shit, get some good shots of the bench. Shit, the baby, the baby will probably be a few fucking seats over. Who fucking knows? <laughs> so... Hey man, I'm fucking excited, and I just I want to see us blow these te blow this team out, man. I want to see us blow them out. They're they're you know they're shit. They're not a good team, and um, I mean at the end of the day, they're missing guys. You know we gotta we gotta beat them. We just beat them. The only difference now is Graham is out. Well, Devontae Graham is questionable. He's missed the last few games, but now he's questionable now. And knowing him. This is a homecoming. He probably is going to try to play. But if he doesn't, the only difference between this game and last week's game or a week and a half ago, however long ago it was, the difference now is McCullum is playing and Graham isn't, where it was vice versa last time. So, you know, hopefully you know, McCullum doesn't go too crazy. And hopefully we just keep clicking offensively like we have the past few weeks. So... You know, I'm, I'm just excited, bro, because the way the guys are talking, they're fired up. They want to make the playoffs real bad. They said they're treating every game like it's a playoff game. And um, that's what you want to hear, especially from young guys like Miles and Terry. That like, You know, even though they're kind of becoming veterans of their own, they're still like, yo, we want to make the playoffs. Every game is a playoff game. And we felt that intensity the past few games where you can tell, like, a, a switch has been flipped, bro. Like, they're not playing around. They're out for blood. They're trying to win every game that we have left. And it's, it's, it's beautiful to see the fight that we have and the way that we're just playing as a team. Like, 30 assists in the last four games. In this winning streak, we've averaged 30 assists a game. Only nine turnovers. Like, we're passing the ball. We're taking care of the ball. And it's resulting in wins. So, I expect nothing else tonight. And shit, it's Miles Bridges' birthday, so shout out to Miles Bridges. Happy birthday. He just turned 24, so you know he's going to show out for his birthday. So my prediction, he's going to be our leading scorer because he's going to go off for his birthday. But y'all comment down below who you think the leading scorer is going to be. And uh, I will have that vlog to you guys. Um, hmm. I'll probably get home. No, I'll probably get home like midnight or something. So, yeah, it's going to be up tomorrow. But I'm going to get that vlog up for you guys. And man, I hope y'all enjoy it. Looking forward to it. Peace.